Hello, this is David G, and welcome to this week's Life Tools. This week we've been exploring dealing with pain, coping with pain, moving through pain. And there are two basic approaches that you can take, as well as many others. But the two most predominant approaches are, one, distract from the pain, and the other is to go deeper into the pain. We know all the ways to distract from pain. We can um, take a painkiller. We can put our attention on something else. We can uh, distract ourselves from that um, acuteness of the moment. The other side of this is to truly connect to it, own it, be it. Experience that pain at such a deeper level, almost to the point where it becomes invisible by living with it. That's sort of like the Pema Chodron um, approach to emotional pain. Uh, allow that pain to come into your heart and sit with it. And truly ask yourself, how does this make me feel? Why does this make me feel? What is this feeling like? What am I owning in this moment? What am I not seeing in this moment? And go through that process of truly allowing yourself to live with that pain. Allow the tenderness of your heart to open and receive that pain. Receive those aspects that are disturbing, discomforting. We know that in any moment we can adjust our thoughts. We can direct our thoughts. We've proven that with 16 seconds to bliss, to ananda, to clarity, to wholeness. 16 seconds. Wherever our attention is in a given moment, if we bring our attention to our breath and watch it as we breathe it in and hold it and observe it as it moves back up and out and witness it as it dissipates into the ether. We've just demonstrated that we can bring our attention to something else. And so I would suggest that we explore both of these modalities over the course of the week. If you have an emotional pain, sit with it. And at the same time, if it's really digging you so deeply on a constant basis, then move towards gratitude. Move towards serving others. Put your attention on another being and then have compassion in that moment. By the same token, we can sit and sit and sit and absorb and allow and accept. And when the tears start to flow, celebrate how wonderful. The depth of your pain is equal to the depth of your love for the thing that is no longer. So if you're feeling with that pit in your stomach, choose either modality over the course of the day, of the week, of the rest of your life, and learn to master sitting with pain, embracing it, accepting it, and ultimately becoming friends with it. Or drifting your attention to other people's pains and asking, how can I help them? How can I heal them? How can I serve them? What can I give to them? What can I deliver to them in that moment? From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G, and I'll see you in the gap.